Good afternoon. I have the great pleasure of being before you today, the ladies and gentlemen of the media, with Royal Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Said Al Nayyan, the Foreign Minister of the United Arab Emirates. This is a unique event today. This happens to be the highest level of our engagement taking place between two countries with the visit of His Highness the Foreign Ministers taken after 35 years. It was in 1976 the last high-level visit from UAE took place to Sri Lanka with a visit at that time of the father of the current Foreign Minister His Highness visiting us at that time in 1976. So Your Highness, we are delighted to have you here. This also shows the growth that has taken place in terms of our relationship in the contemporary times between UAE and Sri Lanka. We have got over 240,000 Sri Lankans working in the UAE. That represents a million Sri Lankans living in Sri Lanka as members of these families, other 240,000 working in the UAE. That's Your Highness, 5% of our population. And that is why there is wide potential and greater development that we could share for two countries as we discuss during our bilateral meeting. Our bilateral discussions centered around in the post-conflict scenario of Sri Lanka's development, the roadmap for economic advancement in Sri Lanka, with wide and open for investments from industry to processing of food in our country, from infrastructure development to the service sector, including tourism, exports of food commodities, and industrial goods to precious stones like our gems and construction both for the construction companies of Sri Lanka to take advantage of the vast potential that exists in the UAE resources for greater development in that country. These centered round and also we discussed the need for us to establish a joint commission between our two countries to enhance the regularity of our meetings and to bring all these sectors for wider discussions at regular times. We also discussed the need for us to enter into a bilateral agreement on investment protection and promotion and also to revisit the existing agreement between UAE and Sri Lanka in terms of double taxation. To look at the renewable energy sector for which His Highness is entirely devoted to improve and to make vast strides in the years to come. Our support will always stand by the efforts of the United Arab Emirates to lead this sector. In sports, I just mentioned and His Highness is a great sportsman and he's a keen sportsman and one who will stand well for Sri Lanka sports in the future. With these words, may I take the pleasure of inviting His Highness, the Foreign Minister of UAE, to address you. Thank you, Your Highness. Your Excellency, thank you for your kind words. Uh, I wish I was a good sportsman. I would be much leaner than this, Your Excellency. Uh, but uh, let me say how delighted I am uh, being in, uh, in Sri Lanka. Um, but being in a very, uh, very new era for Sri Lanka, I, mean, I told the minister uh, how delighted we were that uh, things are starting to 
to become calm, Sri Lanka. You've uh, eliminated a, a terrorist group which uh, not only was uh, threatening uh, the people of Sri Lanka, but it was much further than that. We know how history uh, and how leaders and how people from other countries lost their lives, lost their members of their families because of that. Uh, Your Excellency, thank you for your courage, the courage of your President, your armed forces, and the people of Sri Lanka. Uh, I would also say that uh, although uh, we haven't had um, an if a high level official visiting Sri Lanka for a long time, but our relationship as your Excellency mentioned, has been improving. Uh, we are very delighted today to announce together that we are, we've decided to have a joint commission between our two countries. We believe uh, it will have a huge role in looking at opportunities, looking at venues of cooperation, investment, uh, in tourism sector, in, in, uh, in agriculture, in renewable uh, sector of energy, uh, but even uh, beyond that. Your Excellency, um, how do you want? Do you want to take some questions? Yes, okay. Uh, I believe that uh, the you have a beautiful country, and uh, I think it's very easy to uh, aid and support Sri Lanka because uh, you're very well known of being serious, uh, highly educated, uh, and uh, being adventurous. I mean. Having over one million uh, Sri Lankans in the GCC countries shows uh, how adventurous and how willing you are really pushing uh, your uh, your interests and your uh, to improve your, your your lifestyle. So I would say that uh, the UAE is quite impressed with Sri Lanka. Uh, I don't think it's appropriate for me uh, to mention figures or mention uh, certain commitments. I think it's far better for us to wait for our experts to meet and look at those venues so uh, we can pick the right uh, approach in the future. I would say this. I would say uh, if the minister would allow, um, maybe we, uh, we should have our joint commission to meet sometime uh, at the latest uh, by by October of this year. Uh, so maybe that gives you a better idea on what exactly I mean. Uh, but I will promise you, uh, as well as I promised uh, my colleague, the foreign minister, that uh, Unfortunately, my stay is very short. I wish I can come and stay longer and uh, know your country even better. So uh, I'll keep uh, coming again. Thank you. Thank you, Your Highness, for your very encouraging words and looking forward for a longer visit by Your Highness to Sri Lanka shortly. And thank you once again for being with us.